wow, it's been a really long time since I've spoken in front of the camera. Basically, I've come across this call play thing that was a targeted ad for me for months. I've finally given in. The main reason I was really dubious was because the landing page for this thing is crazy. Like, I thought I was gonna get scammed, but I pushed through. So for anyone who's interested, it's four weeks. You have six days of work, one day of rest per week, and it goes flow and then uh, drills, so like core drills. Then there's also this thing called prehab, which is like strengthening your wrists, your shoulders, your hip mobility, which for me was the first sign that this could actually be a really good program because it looks like she's put proper thought into how to get into things properly. I'm the kind of person that will just try and rush into a pose and end up hurting myself. So yeah, I thought I would just document my journey throughout this so that if anyone is on the fence about buying it, they can find this video because when I was on the fence buying it, I was looking for this kind of video. And who doesn't love a progress video? Hopefully, hopefully there's progress. At the moment where I'm at, I'll put some clips in so you can see. I can do a crow pose. It feels pretty stable. I would like to just, I guess, clean it up a bit. Maybe get my knees higher, get my arms straighter. I can do a tripod headstand. I'd like to be able to make it smoother going from a crow pose to a tripod headstand instead of just like landing on my head. And then, yeah, just feeling stronger when I'm up there. And then onto what I can't do at all. I really want to be able to do a proper headstand, like, you know, forearms. I really want to be able to do that. At the moment, once I'm up there, it's fine, but kicking up feels pretty much impossible. I just can't connect to what I need to connect to to get there. If I can, I would love to be able to do some, like, variations, like arm balances, so like side crow, or there's this thing called like a lizard. I'm not even gonna bother trying to do those because I'm nowhere near being able to do those, but if I could like, I don't know, build the foundations for that, that would be awesome as well. Yeah, so I really have no idea what to expect. It could be really easy and pretty pointless, or it could just be impossible and I'm gonna look like an idiot. So I started with the prehab, which I, decided to do every day because it seemed like a good thing and I have very weak wrists and tight shoulders so I just decided to do it every morning then I moved on to the core drills and they were hard especially this one like the twisty twisty thing. I don't know what it's called, but I really found that hard. It hurt like crazy. It all hurt, to be honest. Week one, day two, I was uh, lucky enough to share this with my mother. Mum's um, brought me some yoga socks. <laughs> she joined in with the prehab with me and um, showed off her flexibility. <laughs> I was hoping that I could show her how difficult it all is, but she just found it really easy. Like this shoulder opener, I cannot do, and she did fucking first go. So this is why I do prehab every morning, because my shoulders are that tight. And then I forgot to actually film the flow because I was so distracted by how good mum is at it. Good morning. I'm house sitting so there is a change of scenery but welcome to day three. So this one really hurt my core. I remember how sore I was doing this. The uh, candlestick, the one this is called, makes like a fart noise on the mat. <laughs> and it's really loud. I'm looking at a dead cockroach right now. 
This is the first flow that I've remembered to film. <laughs> I feel like everyone can relate to when you're following someone doing something on yoga and you think that you're doing it right and then you look back at the screen and you're just like, oh, not even close. I have a UTI. Yeah, I had a UTI this day, so I felt like absolute shit and I found this really hard. Probably shouldn't have worked out, but I don't like skipping days. Okay, so this is the rest day, and after watching this footage, <laughs> I was just like, I'm never filming a rest day again. I look like I'm trying to conjure <laughs> a demon. Oh god, it looks terrifying. I, I'm scared of myself. <laughs> never again. So this is the progress for week one. The crow felt a bit more stable. I felt like I could straighten my arms just a little bit more. Everything felt tighter and safer, I guess. Less like I was going to fall on my face. The tripod pose, still not <laughs> overly graceful getting into it, but uh, definitely had a lot more stability once I was up. And I felt like I could get down a lot safer, a lot more controlled. Still no luck with the headstand, um, but I felt like I was holding it like a little bit longer when I kicked up. And yeah, still nowhere near being able to do the uh, arm balance, the side arm balance that I really want to do. Week two is called Let's Get Serious, which is a bit concerning. <laughs> so this week was a lot more like on your hands and toes rather than being on your back, which made it a lot more difficult for me. There was a lot of sweating, a lot of grunting, and this was the introduction to L-sits, which I just cannot do. My arms felt like too short. There's just no way my butt could lift up. So I tried using books and still, no, like my thighs cramped and I just have no strength to do that. It feels so wrong. So I found my new nemesis and it's the L-sit. <laughs> Honestly, it felt like my thighs were going to explode. So this flow was called first lift off and it was basically just a preparation to get into crow and I did probably the best crow I've ever done. It felt good, felt strong and stable and I felt like I could stay in it for as long as I wanted. More L sits today. Yeah, so I hate L-sits. <laughs> I would really love to be able to do it, um, so it's nice to have a new goal, but god damn, it's painful. What's also depressing is my brothers can do it. I showed Liam and Ben, and god damn, Liam did it on the first go. I can't go high though, it's like that much. I, I've tried it on books. I still can't do it. <laughs> See that? I did it though. I did it. <laughs> Lift the feet up, man. I can't. I feel like I'm at a disadvantage because my arms just feel too short and my butt's big, so it's just in the way. I don't know. I'm probably just not strong enough. God damn it. So that night, I had a lot of restless energy. I couldn't sleep, and when I can't sleep, I do yoga. And I was like, you know what, I'm just going to try and do a headstand. And fucking hell, I could do it. I could do it. I kicked into it. Like, it wasn't very graceful. It was pretty shaky. I probably didn't have my legs straight. But 
for the first time of trying to do a headstand for a year, I got into it. Today is called L Sit Core Burner. <laughs> this is when I hit my head on my pot plant and did I move forward? No, I just kept doing it. Even this exercise, I feel like my butt is in the way. I have to like go on, I can't do it from my hands, I have to go onto my fists just for that extra bit of space. Still can't do l -sits. no. But throughout the week, my headstand was getting progressively better. My legs were slowly getting straighter and my kick-ups were becoming a lot more controlled. Yeah, it was just getting easier and easier. Very happy. So this is the last day of week two. At this point I could feel that my core was stronger already. I don't know how you're supposed to do this one if you live in a carpeted house. I don't know what kind of hell this exercise came from, but it is so hard. I also can't do it without making that sound. <laughs> You're supposed to do it without books. Like, I just do not have that much space underneath me for my whole body to come through. Do I have really short arms? <laughs> Okay, end of week two, let's see. My crow feels really good, really, really strong. I can hold it for as long as I want. I feel like I can bring my feet up higher. My tripod, I feel like I can fall into without shaking the ground. I can get up with control and I can come back down with control. It was super easy, especially after doing uh, normal headstands. My headstand definitely needs some work, but the fact that I can kick into it after not being able to do that for so long is just amazing to me. Two weeks of doing this program and I can kick into a headstand, something I thought I'd never be able to do because I'd been trying to for so long. And then I thought I'd try this arm balance just for fun, and then I could freaking do it! What the hell? I'd never been able to do that before. <laughs> Pure joy! <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna leave it there. There's no point in me doing the whole four weeks and filming it all because it's been two weeks and I can say that I would recommend it. I've seen a lot of progress already. I'm very excited to keep going and yeah, I don't know what else to say. If you are interested in yoga, in mobility, in just getting into cool poses and you like me haven't found the exercises that will help you, I've found this really, really useful and I'm definitely going to keep doing it, probably repeat it. Thank you for watching me on this journey. It has been difficult and I'm only halfway through, but it's definitely worth it. Okay, bye!